so you can use uh, the singular value decomposition um, to solve least square problems. Okay. So remember, a least square problem is um, when you try, there is no true solution to a system. Um, there will always be some vector r. It can be really small, but yeah, it, it's never zero. Um, when you subtract b from a times c, okay, there will always be some some error, some uh, not error, but yeah, some uh, distance between the. It will never be zero, okay. Uh, now, if uh, let's maybe rewrite it here. We will substitute, uh, we will take what's here, sorry, and we will substitute in A. Okay, so we will get um, U sigma V transpose. times C. Let's rewrite that. Minus B. Okay. Um, now we can factor out a U. Um, so we'll get U times Sigma V transpose C minus U transpose B. Okay. Uh, why? Because we know that U uh, and V also U and V are orthogonal, so we know that U um, U times U transpose. It's all, you can also do U transpose U, but here we have U times U transpose. It's equal to the identity matrix, um, and so if we we multiply back. Um, this you will go here, and here we will get the identity matrix. Uh, so, well, yeah, we will get our vector B back. Okay. Um, now, we know also that an orthogonal matrix doesn't change the length. So, remember if you have some orthogonal matrix, uh, let's call it Q, or here we have U, let's take U, and some vector X. The length is the same, okay? The length of x doesn't change. So we can uh, do as if it wasn't here. Then we can write sigma v transpose c minus u transpose b. Okay? Now, um, let's just rewrite that here. We can define some vector d to be equal to u transpose b. Okay, you will see why we do that. And also, um, um, the solution of our least square problem, uh, which are contained in the vector c, the solution will be given by the following v times sigma hat inverse, I will explain that uh, just after, times d0. Okay, so let's explain that. Um, basically, you know that um, your matrix sigma has the same size as your matrix A. Okay, so if uh, your matrix A is a n by n matrix, your matrix sigma will also be a m by n matrix. Okay, do you remember that? Um, now, um, um, basically, the problem is 
that it's not sure that we can um, multiply our matrix sigma with our matrix V. Sorry. Okay. Um, and so we will maybe have to cut some rows of sigma. Um, if, for example, you matrix V has three columns, your matrix sigma needs three rows. But maybe there are more. So we will just cut them, okay? If there are more, um, because it has only diagonal entries, uh, the other entries are zero. We will just cut the rows that we, have, we, we don't need, okay? To have the same number as rows as V has columns, okay? And the inverse, basically, to find the inverse of um, sigma, uh, remember that sigma it has entries in the diagonal, these are the singular values. The inverse is just uh, the same, but you take one over the singular values. Okay? And the the hat uh, basically it's that we it's what we said that's when you cut some rows um, that you you don't need okay and um, this matrix with the hat and the inverse uh, it, it's called the pseudo inverse also it's also called the pseudo inverse if you want to use that name pseudo inverse I hope you can read it okay uh, and also your vector D uh, the problem is as it is similar to the problem we had now uh, it's not sure that you can multiply D with your matrix Sigma uh, or sigma or your pseudo inverse okay it's not sure and so uh, if your matrix sigma has it has the same number of columns as as a it has also uh, first it has this first it has also the same number of rows but then you will cut some of these rows uh, to multiply it v uh, but uh, because it has this it has the same number of columns as a also uh, it's not sure that you uh, vector D has the same number of rows as sigma has columns, okay? Uh, so yeah, if, for example, your matrix sigma has three columns, your vector D, it can have more. Uh, it can have maybe five rows. Okay? And uh, uh, it's we will do a similar thing. We will just cut the rows that we don't need. And that will be D0. And the remainder, so the rows we cut, will be D1. Okay? Do you see what I mean? And so, you can rewrite the... Um, remember, you ha we had uh, the following. We had... Uh, sigma times V transpose C minus T uh, sorry um, minus U transpose B we can rewrite that as Sigma um, hat V transpose C minus D zero plus D1 okay and uh, uh, so basically we define the vector D to be equal to U transpose B and it's also equal to D0 D1 okay so D1 are the rows that we we, we, we removed okay and so the solution of the least square problem is V times sigma hat inverse so the inverse is just to take one over the singular values times d zero. Okay. 
and uh, so you solve it that way. So now you're sure that you can multiply uh, d with sigma and uh, sigma with v and so see, see here that will be the solution of your least square problem. So you can use the singular value decomposition to solve least square problems. Thanks for watching.